Hello everyone, you join us from Seaford. Welcome back to another train trip video. I probably want to head on the train fairly quickly as it is uh, school's now out, so there's tons of kids uh, trying to get on the train. So let's get on and we're going to take a journey to Brighton. Yeah. Right, so here we are, sat at Seaford. Should be due out in the next uh, couple of minutes. And yeah, it should be around 35 minutes back to Brighton. Fingers crossed. On this uh, fairly grey evening, I think this is the 15. Yeah, 15:25. I think this is back to uh, back to Brighton, something along those lines. But I'll leave all the details uh, in the description below. Yeah, should be leaving shortly. And there we go. We're now leaving Seaford behind. The sun is quite mesmerising. The sea over there. Yeah, look at that. It's quite unfortunate as it was uh, all sunny until about 20 minutes ago and it's all clouded over. There you've got a little bit of light left. Yeah, look at that sun though, that's pretty impressive. But yeah, as I said, we've got a bit unlucky with the, uh, the sunlight. It was only until about 20 minutes ago. It was basically full full sun, blue sky. It was been a lovely day, but we've been quite a little bit unlucky with it. And also with the uh, timing as well. As it is, uh, it's just gone free. Uh, well, about 20 minutes ago. So we've got all of the lovely, uh, loud, noisy... TikTokers on board. There we are, this is uh, Bishopstone, the uh, first proper stop on the journey. I think we're calling it New Haven Harbour Town, South East, I think, as well, Lewis, and then, well, basically all stops to Brighton, so it shouldn't be, well, it's not the longest of journeys. But yeah, we'll be there when we be there. Yeah, we're coming out of Bishopstone again. You've got the lovely uh, sun on our left there. Look at that on all the uh, mobile homes as well. You've got the sea out there, the English Channel. Over to the right, you've got. I think that's New Haven Fort up there. Let me zoom in. Yeah, I think you've got the fort up on the hill up there. Worth a visit if you haven't been before. And uh, you've also got New Haven Port or New Haven Docks. Yeah, lovely part of the. Uh, or Sussex, eh? Oh, don't focus on that. As we just whiz through tide mills. Again, I don't know what's going all blurry. There we go. That sun is pretty dramatic, though. Look at that. <laughs> sort of surrounded by, by all the sort of winter evening clouds. Yeah, there is New Haven Fort up there on the hill. You can just about see it. And then we've got the River Ooze coming up. Or at least one part of it. It's like it's all sort of dried up or tide's gone out. And then on the way in there was actually a 66 waiting at New Haven Marine, so we might see that. Oh, it is still there actually. Probably just about be able to see it. Behind those lorries. Oh, 
at least it was. It might have. I know it's still there. Yeah, no idea if you saw that or not, but yeah, there was a, a 66 there, an EWS livery, uh, although with the DB logo, as we come into New Haven Harbour, which we are not stopping at. So you've got the old abandoned platform there, some sort of old terminating platform there, obviously disused nowadays. Then onwards to New Haven Town, which is only about, what, 200, 300 metres up the line. So in no time we'll be at that. And yeah, now approaching a New Haven Town station, which is sort of nowadays the main station of New Haven. With all the bus links, the coasters to Brighton and Peace Haven, Salt Dean, all those sort of places. And it looks quite busy as well. But yeah, New Haven, New Haven Town this is. Yeah, probably going to get noisy, so if I get quieter, it's because it's, got, it's got, because it's got busy. And off we go, we've got a few Brighton & Hove buses down there, a 492 and a 12A. Obviously one being a school bus and one being a uh, the coaster to Eastbourne. And then relatively soon we'll be going past the New Haven incinerator. Which is now coming up on our left. Well, it's quite regular, there's a freight train in there. There it is there. Uh, so for any East Coastway players on TSW. They've done their shunting round there. But at least it's still light, that's the main thing. But it's sort of a test to see if this mic actually works. Because um, I recorded another video earlier in Brighton uh, from Portslade to Molescombe on the 49, the bus. Um, but it was about four clips into it, um, the audio died. So. I'm sort of hoping this works. I mean, I can use the tripod for this. Only a basic tripod. I think it was about £9. Not even that. But it gets the job done. As we uh, come up with the Ouse Valley. Some lovely scenery. And obviously, whilst this video is going along, you uh, will see some clips of my journey. I think, what was it, May the... No, the 19th of May. Uh, when we came down here on, well, a 313 uh, but sadly they don't operate anymore so you'll, you'll see a few clips of that as we go through should have probably pointed that out at the uh, at the beginning look at that and we're on the good side of the train as well, the left hand side where all of the good scenery is so we're sort of following the meandering Ouse River up to uh, up to South East to begin with. And up to Lewis. But yeah, South East is the next stop. Should be getting there in about the next sort of minute or two. Yeah, the scenery along here though is, is, is lovely, so as we make our way up the valley, but it's quite quick as well, I think it's um, 70 miles an hour up here, so fairly, fairly quick, I suppose sort of a mini version of the, the Aran Valley. They've got the hills there in the distance as well. That's sort of where Lewis is, sort of where those hills are. So we sort of curl our way around to the left. They're coming up to South East, where there's not really a lot going on. That's the odd walker.
and they're quite slow through it as well so there's a temporary speed restriction I did think we were stopping as well but it seems we've gone right through it I mean hopefully we weren't stopping <laughs> never know of these trains some are some will stop at South East, some won't. Some will stop at New Haven Harbour, some won't. I don't know the pattern of it. But anyways, onwards. You can see Lewis on the hillside as well, up to the left. And that is well, where we're headed, so we've got a loop all the way around first. So relatively soon, within the next minute or so, we're going to be joining up with the sort of the main line of the East Coastway, um, which yeah runs from Eastbourne. There's the river there again. So we're joining up with that soon at Sutherland Junction. On this uh, gloomy. Not too bleak. It's actually quite mild today, but on this uh, December's evening. I don't know if you can hear any background audio. I don't know how well this mic picks that up. There's the sun as it slowly goes behind the downs. But yeah, soon to be joining up with the sort of main line of the East Coastway. And here we are, we are now, just joining up now. There's the 40 board. Oh no, I think that was actually the 16 40, so we're actually already joined up now. So we will now start seeing trains towards well, Eastbourne or Hastings, all those lovely places. We shall start seeing them now. And we're just about to dive under the, I think this is the A26, possibly. I don't think that's the A27. And there's the U's. Actually, that could be the A27, actually. Yeah, quite possibly. And you've got the, uh, the White Cliffs there. As we approach uh, Lewis. Very nice town if you ever get any time to get out here, get out and have a have a walk around, you've got the castle and it's quite an old town, it's uh, it's nice to see. And it's still sort of very much got that sort of, you know, English sort of town feel to it, you know, the market, the old high street. So if you're into that sort of stuff, Lewis is the place to visit. And you've also got the old signal box here at Lewis. Lovely old signal box. I think built for the London Right and South Coast Railway in the 1850s or 60s. Proper old school signal box. Yeah. You can just about see the castle. And it's also where it starts to get a bit busy, so if I'm a bit quieter, it's because it's about to get quite rammed, as you can see. So hopefully you will still be able to hear me, but probably a little bit quieter. I'll probably put the tripod away as well, as yeah, it is it's busy. So see you in a minute. Seems we managed to dodge the bullet. Still no one sitting next to us. Always the best when you're travelling by train. The slow 10 miles an hour out of Lewis. And then we can start speeding up. Mm -hmm. 
And soon to be entering Falmer Tunnel uh, and then into Falmer Station itself. I'd imagine it probably will get rammed here. It, well, it always is. As you've got um, Sussex University, Brighton University, I think, and Backer and the Amex Stadium, uh, which is home of Brighton and Hove Albion. So it's always quite busy here. So yeah, I would imagine after Falmer we'll have to sort of tune, tone it down a bit uh, as it's probably going to get quite busy and our seats probably, we're probably going to get neighbours as well. Uh, here we are though on the 377, I love the um, southern interior and the maquette as well, I mean it's basic but it's, uh, it's nice and the seats are comfortable. A little tiffy if you're ever on a, a 377 sit in either coach one or coach four for the um, four coach sets and you've got the two plus two seating and tables uh, which are a lot comfier than the three plus two where you've got sort of almost not as bad as an ironing board but near enough so we're in Falmer Tunnel at the moment and then yeah into Falmer shortly so you've got the Amex up there so up see it well not really actually but yeah, we're now coming into Falmer. Here, yeah, home of Brighton and Hove Albion, and um, well, the University of Brighton and Sussex University. And again, as usual, it is apps. Wow, that is busy. So, you're probably going to be a bit quieter from here on out to Brighton, as it is absolutely rammed here, as usual. So, yeah, I'll hopefully maybe speak to you in a little bit. But here comes the tsunami of people.
just like sending the cringe. I see what's cringe. Oh, it's because it's on the set when you charge on like streaks, and so like you can take like a black. I think I'm currently on like a 20 day streak before I get the logo. I'll just be on the replies of the GCSE. I just have like this shit. You're the best. You're the best. Not many likes, so is there? Nice pop down there. You been there? You been in there? New? New? And here we are now at Brighton, only about 35 minutes after we left Seaford. Just letting the tsunami of people get off the train and then uh, we'll get off ourselves. Yeah, got proper rammed off the Falmer, like that Molescombe as well. But yeah, here we are on Platform A at Brighton. Yeah, there's a lot of people. A lot of people getting, uh, getting off and on here. Can't lose. No. Because. And that's that. Never again. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be it for me here at Brighton. Hopefully everyone has enjoyed it. Uh, links can be found in the usual places, Discord, PayPal, Merch Store. I mean, look how busy it is. Apart from that, thanks for coming in, and I hopefully will see you in the next one. See you all. Take care. Bye, guys.